down memory lane and take a look at a memorable moment from Buffalo's past. We've all driven through Lafayette Square and we looked up in awe at the Lafayette Hotel, but uh, we're looking at a pictures of soldiers and sailors, the monument there, bustling hub of downtown Buffalo. But did you know that President Abraham Lincoln spoke there in 1861? We'll be getting another taste of Buffalo's past later on in the show as we learn about a road less traveled production's take on the play Clybourne Park. I love this picture because you can see the Hotel Lafayette is still there and still looks exactly the same pretty much as it did in this photo from the 1880s. And, and what's the building next to the Hotel Lafayette? Now with that's the, towers? the library. Yeah, what would do? I don't know we, what we'll the building is. We'll have to look is. into that. We, so, so the <laughs> in Buffalo, this photo, but. So we have some facts here about the Buffalo Area County Public Library that was built in 1887 and continues to anchor the square as it presents building. The present building was completed in 1964. Future President Grover Cleveland was mayor of Buffalo in 1882. He helped lay down the cornerstones of the square, Soldiers and Sailors Monument site. Uh, still receives visiting dignitaries and serves as a place for rallies, demonstration, and summer context. We'll do a little research and figure out that building that we were discussing. But it's always great to see these pictures.